and welcome to another episode of Cinebeards. I'm your host, Jason Musicanth. With me, as always, are Dion van Heerden. Hello! Marcus Knaef. <laughs> mystery writer Marcus Knaef. <laughs> and Thomas Sharp. Hello! Joining us as well is Jared doing his best Jason cosplay. <laughs> I'm Jason. <laughs> it's you, pretty good. Again, you can't tell because we've got no cameras, but... Mohawk needs work. It's not a mohawk, it's called the hammer. Right, right. So it's just the four of us today. <laughs> <laughs> and to think it used to and look like me. Explaining jokes, yeah. we have Jared. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. He's evolved. <laughs> Every time we laugh, I'm going to go to, and Jared? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You might just hear nervous screeching every now and then. <laughs> oh, well, you're going to hear angry screeching now, because the first thing we're talking about is the Slenderman trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's fuck you, the best you. horror movie no, no, no. trailer okay. in the universe. It, for those for those who are wondering, Thomas and Marcus have been in a week long fight over who loves the trailer more. Yeah. <laughs> and now Thomas is angry that Marcus got in the first praise for it's it. It's true. Yeah. yeah. It's true. It's a fact. It's it, like un- it's a fact you can Wikipedia that. Unlike them, Jason and I really don't like it. Yeah, I don't have much faith in it. Yeah, no, I, I definitely have some reservations yeah i don't know what they're on about though because i mean it just looks so good i mean it's slendery and it's manny right and, and there's a guy in it who's just like really really thin <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So like his role in it or also who he is. jump scares i really 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 love jump scares like and the- and they got that white thing as well that that bright flash of white much like the dc awesome trailer that we watched the other week yeah yes. yeah yeah mm. so um yeah i'm totally i'm on board yep. i can't wait for that film uh, your opinion changed rather quickly <laughs> no, yeah. Thomas we convinced him. that's Thomas, how good you're we the are outlier now <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no technically i'm the outlier because in my part of the world i didn't know there was a slender man movie coming <laughs> oh, sure, sure, the trailer. oh yeah you live in the 80s yes yeah, yeah. i live in the 80s also with rednecks possibly possibly yeah, you you got to return your massive 3D glasses to the cinema afterwards. <laughs> yes. yes. What? With the, with the red and with the with, red and blue don't lenses. Don't you know why I don't go watch movies anywhere other than in Cape Town when I'm in town? No. It's like this massive thing that he has to wear. No fucking way. <laughs> they literally collect them on a little cart at the one and only cinema, and they're like these massive sunglasses that are scratched to oblivion. Do you live in the Soviet Union? <laughs> well, we have a giant statue of like Stalin in the so- middle. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You live in communism. Oh my god. Unfortunately, that gets us really shitty quality cinemas. That's so weird wow. how that happens. I and feel for you. We should go on. Hol- we should go on holiday in communism. Are you going to say we should start like a GoFundMe or something to, <laughs> to yeah. buy them a proper? <laughs> no, no, no. We should just you know start a GoFund Jared to get him to live here. Or that. Or that. It's probably that, cheaper, that's actually. It's oh, probably cheaper. Yeah, right? Mm. They're building a whole cinema. No, I'll let you well, sleep no, on my couch for like a week. Here and then that's Jared awesome. can live at the cinema here. Yeah, yeah. Jared can run the cinema. <laughs> room and board. And live there. I can do that. It'll just be like that girl does in The Shape of Water. No, wait. It's the she guy that does run it. Neither cinema. of them she run the cinema. It. Oh, right. They, they just, just live, live above it. You're thinking of Back to the Future 3. Yes, I probably am. Because there's that train. Yes, <laughs> the time train, and, and it's derailed. Yeah, exactly. Much like oh yeah, and that's the one where the kid is like you're holding his dick and he's like suck it at the end. I don't know. That reminds me more of that episode of Happy Days where the Fonz jumped over a shark. No, that wasn't the Fonz though, was it? No, I thought was, it was one of the Olsen twins. That was Stefan's. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm kind of just having flashbacks of like Bulletproof Monk and Sean William Scott doing like martial arts, like with the <laughs> cinema in front of him. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, cool. this so, got oh, right, so, There is a Slenderman, a Slenderman trailer, Man. and yes. you should watch it because it is. It just looks incredible. I didn't. So I didn't think. But I'll... just remember this: once you've seen it, you cannot unsee it. Yeah. yeah. Because you, it'll just be burnt into the back of your fucking. Well, we should probably just for legal, time. just for like legal clarity, I should. I should probably just mention that mm-hmm. it is a, an awful trailer. Yes. And we're being facetious. Yes. yes. Please do not hold us liable if you. Have if you watch this tra- and then we're back to us. You, your daughter yeah. it's yeah. not happening <laughs> no and for like, disclaimer it, purposes i can't corroborate the story because i have not seen it all right so oh, yeah. your, your tacit agreement is all that we require yeah, right now jared Thank like you. subtly like moves to the side and covers the slender man's <laughs> trailer <laughs> tattoo 
<laughs> not even like the thing that happened in the early 2000s on the internet with, like, slender man with, the, with like the likes and the dislikes and the view count <laughs> <laughs> with just a sad face underneath it and the dislike oh, button and like where, the where three you top get comments. new comments tattooed on every so, every so often that's oh, how that's... I'm making my sleeve man <laughs> That was a great joke, guys. Jared, could you please explain? <laughs> Over to you, Jared. <laughs> now to you. I feel I mean, like I've walked out. to now. a trailer that was actually pretty fucking good. The, the new trailer for Alita Battle Angel. Yes. Yes. Mm, the Alita, Alita the Hun. More robots. As we are officially no, yes. no, Alita, no, 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 no. Alita the Hun is... Alita okay. the Hun, we, we fixed Record Rock, or at least we got Record Rock to acknowledge its mistakes. Yes. Yeah. So we yeah. know they're listening. So Alita the Hun and Alita Alita the, Hun. the byline is more robots equals more excitement. Yes, yes. Yeah. for sure. All right, okay. cool. That's a good compromise. Yeah. That's your tattoo, isn't it? That is correct. Mm. It's over my eyes. You have to, like, <laughs> flip up. <laughs> 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 yeah, that yeah. looks amazing. The yeah, second I, trailer was yeah, a lot yeah, I can't believe that was the one I forgot about last time we were talking about Comic Con. Yeah, you said there's a trailer coming there's out There's a trailer tomorrow. coming out on Monday. I can't yeah, remember what, like, what it is. And then I was like, oh, right, it was Alita. And it looks fucking awesome. Yeah, it, it does. Like, that... I am so behind Rodriguez on this one. Yeah, the yeah. trailer looks oh, way more exciting. Am, to be yeah, honest. for sure. Yeah, I mean, gave us Spy Kids and Planet Terror. Yeah, I no. actually... Mm -hmm. And... Nothing else. <laughs> Nothing else. <notable>. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he gave us Asshole? Yeah. Danny Treasure's gonna kill you. <laughs> Didn't he also give us machete kills again in space? No, that's what he hasn't prom given he's us promised yet. to give us that one, but uh, not that's what he us. said. So, I think that's for me. Uh, amateurs. Rude. Yeah, amateur R. It's yeah. clearly one of those like projects where like if I could do something, I would be doing this. But guess what? I can't. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think uh, machete kills yeah. again did really badly. It, yeah. it, it kind of did do badly. And then to secure the much higher budget they would need for uh, machete kills again in space. Yeah, like, wasn't gonna happen. It's not like, gonna happen. Investor I, confidence at an all-time low. Like I would, but I would actually kind of want to see it on a smaller budget than Machete Kills had. Mm. You know what I mean? Just like for the, really shitty SFX. Yeah, like, like just ridiculously shitty. Nah, no. Nah, I want to see it like as high budget as possible. Yeah, to be it honest. deserves. It deserves the best. Yeah, mm. well, it deserves but, yeah, something. Elite the Hun looks brilliant and i can't wait to see robots fighting each other i yes. am so excited yeah. for oh, I guess fights the thing is like, there's more robots and i think just but she's got a human brain concerned. so doesn't that make her a cyborg technically, technically yes yeah yeah i would mm. say that makes her cyborg. yeah she's alita the cyborg hun yeah mm. Mm. also i'm i'm kind alita of alita the hun colon cyborg on the run yes yeah that's that, all works. Right. Mm. that works and i'm also Printed. glad that people like the online discourse Seems to have gotten over the anime eyes yeah. thing. I love the anime eyes. I think yeah. the anime yeah. eyes yeah. make it really unique yeah. and visually appealing and yeah. something but interesting to like well distract yeah. from the general malaise of just like, ah, oh, look, it's robots. Yeah, when the first promo images and the first trailer come out, came out, people were like, oh, what's with these big eyes? It looks so creepy. It looks so unsettling. And now, in the context of the second trailer, it makes so much more yeah, sense. It's great. Aesthetically, it just works. Mm -hmm. That it does. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, uh, other trailers. I can't wait to watch it on my Zoom. <laughs> I got one of those gonna, zooms. Are you gonna watch it on your are you gonna watch it on your iPod mini <laughs> like Dunk? <laughs> 30 by 240. <laughs> the way it was meant to be seen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> so Thomas. You have a trailer to tell us I about. I do have a trailer to tell you all about. It's a very, very exciting trailer because I funded the production of this film by giving a man on the internet a hundred dollars. Because right. that's what my parents told me to do. And it went about as well as you can expect giving a hundred grand to a man on the internet. $100. With giving a hundred dollars to a realtor from Las Vegas who contractually <laughs> makes women be naked with him in movies. Okay, tell us tell us the backstory here. Okay. I'm very curious to hear just what led up to this. Okay, so Neil Breen, the writer, director, producer, uh, cinematographer, lighting caterer. expert, caterer, security man, and editor, no, and sorry, star, and star, uh, has directed four feature length films. They are magnificent. They are beyond. <laughs> That's the bullshit bird. <laughs> <laughs> they are beyond comprehension and they are they stand alone as as monuments to like cinema. A smelly child on the playground. Correct. Yeah. And you can't make fun of it. 
Yeah. yeah. Shitty pants. <laughs> <laughs> so these films are amazing. So when he announced that he was directing his fifth film, and he was like, hey, Indiegogo, if you give me money, I'll send you a copy of the film. And I was like, all right. So I gave him $100, and he's now produced a trailer. The film is called Twisted Pear, and it looks like it might be his best movie ever. I didn't think I'd say that after Fateful Findings, a.k.a. Laptop Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> but this one looks pretty fucking amazing. You know, I mean, he creeps through a Getty Images still. How, how, uh, how much money did he raise for this? Oh, man. 103. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a lot of money. I I'm just curious to know what percentage of this you're responsible for. <laughs> I want to believe almost all of it. Okay, I'm Googling this. No. <laughs> I'm Googling how much money it actually got. Yeah, because if it's like five, if he only raised like $500, then it's solidly 20% your movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I get a producerial credit. Oh, I hope they credit the GoFundMe's at oh, the end so your name can be attached to the Thomas. If they credit the GoFundMe's, I'll lose my fucking mind. Because <laughs> you, you've got yourself an IMDb. I do, yeah. I do. So I'll have a producer. It is Twisted Pear, right? Yeah, Twisted yeah. Pear. It doesn't even, so it doesn't even come up. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, no, it was first advert. It was first. It had the working title Twisted. So look for that. Mm -hmm. Just Twisted, add Twisted Neil, Neil Green. Green. It was either Indiegogo or GoFundMe. I don't remember which one. I want to believe that it's still open and that he's still taking <laughs> like, money for it, it. And it's not called pass through because that's the no, first no, no, no. Pass through was the uh -huh. previous one, and that's past T H R U. Just in case anybody was confused. All right, I found it. Oh, all right. Ah. Seven thousand dollars. You raised seven thousand dollars, which so... means it's one seventieth your fault. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm happy with wait, that. Wait, wait, I, I don't your think hundred probably paid fault as much as for that Getty image. I hope my hundred dollars did pay for that Getty image. No, I hope he stole that Getty <laughs> image <laughs> and cropped out most of the logo, <laughs> but not all of it. Much like the explosion at the end that's just kind of cut <laughs> off at the top. <laughs> oh, cool. Neil Breen, you wonderful, wonderful genius. Everybody watch that movie, I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna force us to watch it anyway, so... Oh, well, that's yeah. correct. I'm gonna come to each of your houses, because I know where you all live. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Shit, ah. <laughs> Hi, you can't go to uh, Jared's house, because you can't travel back in time. <laughs> that's what you think. Damn it. And you have a real problem with the proletariat. I do. Mm. 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 Alright, so what else is news? Um... Well, it's a thing that we missed talking about last time because of the whole Comic-Con thing, mm -hmm. but um, we should probably talk about Scarlett Johansson getting, like, like retiring or stepping back from... Getting um, bullied away from. Getting bullied away from Rub and Tug. Yes. Oh, yeah. The oh! Mo the movie about the transgender gang, like, mobster dude? Yes. Or was it? Mm. Ran the massage parlors and stuff like that. And essentially how much... The LGBTQ plus community shot themselves in the foot with that. Correct. Yeah, it's a hot they've... button issue that I do not w wish to comment on. Well, it, well it's look, one that I don't well, know enough it's... about to comment on. But it does look. feel like uh, if the the film was made in good faith and made well and was successful, then even though she herself is not transgender, it could have positively contributed to exactly like mainstream representation. But, yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. And there's she's no big, big draw. Yeah, there's no big studio now that's gonna fund that movie or anything like it because they can't cast any bankable actor in it. Correct. Yeah, which means nobody's gonna <clears throat> take the risk. Which means no movie, like, no movie featuring LGBTQ plus characters in the lead. Is uh, going to come out of a major production house for the next couple of years because yeah. it's it's red hot right now and yeah. nobody wants to touch which it. Which means there's going to be zero representation in the yep. mainstream, which is fucking bullshit. Which is bad. And also, just from a, a casting perspective, knowing what I know from when we cast and we have transgender roles or genderqueer or fluidity things, and we have those roles in adverts or in movies, the very first step is always can we get somebody that actually is yeah. X or Y or Z or whatever? Yeah. Because that is always the director's... For two reasons. One, for authenticity. 
and two, because of the social climate that we live in, yeah. it is always the first port of call to get somebody real. So for people to dismissively say, oh, they just cast it, there's mm. no way they didn't actually look for a trans actor or actress first. There is no yeah. way. It just, yeah. it just would not happen. The studio is A, not that stupid, and be not that out of touch. Yeah, and the problem yeah. is you can't just pull any sort of random actor in no. because of their identity. Like they have to have the experience, they have to be right for the character. That and is, most uh, importantly, yeah. they have to put butts in seats. Yeah. yeah, and that is the thing. Like, so they would have gone, I believe, and I think, and it just makes sense that they would have gone the role, they would have gone down the authentic role first, realized this okay, actually- we can't get funding. We can't way. get funding the actor or actress is not experienced enough they cannot pull off the role we you know the investors are not happy with like those things will all come together way mm. before an announcement yeah. yeah 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 because as soon as she, um, she dropped out of the film the uh one of the production studios that is either hers or affiliated with her also pulled out yeah so the movie lost like half of its funding and that's exactly. not them being transphobic or something no that's business that's smart business mm. because that's how the world works yeah i mean if it's scarlett johansson um and the film did well and it was reviewed well received well positive representation that paves the way yes yeah um, very much that so. makes it because every film like that that succeeds makes it more mainstream exactly it makes yeah. it a more it makes it more common it makes it thing. more palatable yeah for mm. people that you know have this immediate knee-jerk reaction to like oh what's a trans person <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah i mean what you have to also understand is we only really started getting minority-led big pictures like last year in 2017 with get out being a smash out success no and no no like uh blade denzel washington get out yeah. get out Any denzel, denzel washington's, washington's get out career is, get out was just because it was Will smith's career get out was just Will because smith. it happened to be a black lead with a black director and a black writer yeah out of a small production house so that is why it's heralded as a darling and that's obviously but and, it's nowhere uh, near the first yeah no, i like yeah just will smith's career denzel's career hell even i mean fucking eddie murphy yeah, yeah. Uh, medea yeah <sighs> mr medea mr medea yeah medea yeah. perry mr. i believe well, i'm Mede a medea <laughs> it's really weird speaking of medea and him like Tyler you, Perry. Tyler, that's his human name. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really weird because he's got his own production house yeah. now that yeah. makes his own serious movies. Yeah. And the Medea movies have enabled him to start that production house and the whole thing is black owned, black run, like it's mostly black people yeah. in positions of And when of he's power not doing the Medea stuff, he's damn good at his he job. He is. Like, look at him in Gone Girl. Yeah. He yeah. was really solid as the lawyer in Gone Girl. So like, it's really funny because you see him as this, like, this, you know, comedy chump, mm -hmm. like Medea, oh, it's so stupid. And it's like, yeah, because those movies are dumb, but they make gangbusters and that money has enabled him mm. to like empower his own community. Yeah. So like, positive stuff. And yeah, the exclusion of Scarlet is just silly. Hell, I mean, I'll do stupid work to, to help fund Nintendo. Exactly. You know, that's my contribution. And that's important. It is. That is important. Do you know what else is important? What? Uh, the Detective Pikachu movie has moved from Universal to Warner Brothers. It so, has. so we're gonna get. Oh, no. <laughs> Can it's I throw this through a window? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so they're Pikachu. gonna recast Detective Pikachu as Danny DeVito now. That's well, that's been Detective, confirmed. Oh, they're Detective gonna Pikachu. throw Ryan Reynolds out here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, are they? I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's too real. It's too real. Is Charmander's flame on his tail it's, actually gonna go out and he's fairness, gonna die? He does, he does a bunch of R-rated stuff, so I guess they're like, we're watching you. You're on thin ice. Yeah, your association for now. He I mean, did he say penis in a movie once. So, yeah. He did. Ooh, immediately he did. fired. Yeah. And he is doing that Stoned Alone movie. Yeah. Stoned Alone? Oh, I heard about that. Uh, it's essentially a stoner-based uh, remake of Home Alone. That sounds amazing. Alright. So, like, Grandma's Boy meets... 
the um, Home Alone. I never saw Grandma's Boy. You never Boy. saw Grandma's Boy. How did you Boy? never see Grandma's Boy? It's so stupid. Yeah, it's ridiculously stupid. I guess because I made good decisions. When well, I was jokes younger. on you. Ha ha. Yeah, the I jokes on I you. I was Grandma's good boy. You are Dion. Yeah. Oh. I got you. <laughs> okay, so Warner Brothers is going to make it a dark and gritty retelling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what Warner oh, Brothers Oh no, we're going to see Pikachu's origin story. <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> I just whispers to the screen, right, you. <laughs> just, just, just Pokeballs tumbling. I can't, so I, can't, I can't wait for, because it'll be dark and gritty, for Giovanni as the leader of Team Rocket just to be kneecapping someone. <laughs> <laughs> like, Give us your fucking Pikachu! Bah, bah. <laughs> oh god, they'll get Jeffrey Dean Morgan to play Giovanni. <laughs> yes, and he's gonna kill Ash's mom. <laughs> Oh. And Detective Pikachu is just gonna slowly murder him. Yeah. Just choke the life out of him, him out. slowly. No, no, no. What and Detective it, it's Pikachu is super effective. <laughs> no, what Pikachu's gonna do is he's gonna make two little slits in Giovanni's shoulders, shove his fists in there, and then gently shock him to death. Gently. 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 Like he only ups the volts every fifth shock. Mm. Also, is it gonna be like proper dialogue, or is it just gonna be like Ryan Reynolds going, Pikachu? No, I, it's, it's proper dialogue. It's, yeah, I, hope, it's, yeah. I hope it's only Pikachu, but all the Pikachus are subtitled. No, because I've seen the stuff for the Detective Pikachu games, and yeah. like he yeah, actually yeah, speaks dialogue. Yeah, it would have made sense. With a really, 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 really deep, deep, voice. Yeah, really deep voice. Japanese yeah. voice. Because yeah. yeah. they already have like the perfect voice actress that does his voice. So yeah. like, if it was just gonna be, they could literally just sample three of them from the animated <laughs> show and just like, save a lot of money. Yeah. But the uh, um, yeah, the reason I was thinking about Danny he just, DeVito, he just says Pikachu, and it's like, what's that Pikachu? Are you saying that the criminals may have gone that way? <laughs> and it's like, oh, so you're saying we should follow the fingerprint evidence? What? The commission is against us? <laughs> what do you mean the warrant didn't come through? Oh you're, no, you're they've been framed. <laughs> you're basically doing that bit from Futurama when Nibbler's speaking to Leela in the spaceship. <laughs> Is he? And, he, and he makes these little noises and she's like, what? I should stop repeating everything that you're saying because we're both understanding it anyway and there's no <laughs> point to this. <laughs> I really need to rewatch you, Sharon. Yeah. Um, I started because you just talk about it incessantly. Mm. It's, it's pretty, pretty shit, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty mm. shit. Pretty, pretty, pretty terrible. Shit. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll fight your IRL. <laughs> oh. As opposed Come to on this boys. podcast. <laughs> Guys, 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 no meat space fighting. Come on. Okay. Oh, fine. Oh, Christ, I hate meat space. I hate that term. What? Right? Meat space. What's meat oh, space? Let's meet in meat space. It's what, it's what? what the, like, millennials say instead of saying, like, in real life. Oh, yeah. that's nothing like what I had in my head when you said oh, meat yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, went, <laughs> I went somewhere like, else. Like, like I had universal stakes flying yeah, around. No, 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 I, I, hear, I, hear I went to saying the, it no, I went to the Hellraiser yeah. side of like, <laughs> meat space. No. no, no, I hear people often saying, like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I made him in meat space. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. It's unironic. Uh, I've never heard that term. I hear it. No, I heard this term right now. Yeah. You it's... clearly do not spend enough time with millennials. I was just going to say. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, clearly, I live in a place where there are no millennials because I've never heard that term. <laughs> space is the name of a bush. You can't, <laughs> you can't know any millennials. You live in the 80s in communist Russia. I just want to <laughs> point out that technically. Jason I and I are both millennials, so and I am think I. Marcus is too. Um, yeah. Technically, according to somebody who somewhere posted stats that determined what is and what is not millennial, I too am millennial. Yeah, yeah. So we're I'm, actually all millennials. So we're all millennials, but we're not dickwads. Yeah, basically the people we're calling millennials are the generation after us millennials. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, oh, damn millennials. They just ha they're just too <laughs> the lazy. Gen Z is they're, they're, just, they're, they're just too lazy and too busy being in, in student debt to yeah. you know, come up with their own fucking name. Yeah. They get oh, a no, job. Because they're, they're still much younger than us, so basically all they're doing preschool days is is um, <laughs> riding our cool millennial coattails, yeah, <laughs> and stealing everything about us that makes us cool, and then appropriating it a bit into themselves, and then adding their own terrible terminology. Like meat space. Yeah, meat oh. space is no. The thing is, meat space is something I hear people like in their late twenties saying, and Never. it's yeah. all my days. No, the, the the new generation is basically <laughs> just like. Far millennials, like you get the far right. <laughs> 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 Hyper millennials. Oh, oh my millennials. God. Alt millennials. Oh. 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 Oh.
And that's, and that's my new worst we'll see you next <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we're, fu- we're going off the air now. We will never return. This is the best. We apologize. But, but then how will we talk about how the Batman by Matt Reeves is looking for a much younger Batman than Batfleck? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. really? Is that the current? 20 odd years younger. Really? Oh, wow. So, yeah. okay, from that, I'm just going to assume that he wants to adapt in some way, shape, or form Frank Miller's year one. So do you think Maybe, Ezra or... Miller will throw his hat into the ring for casting? Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. no. Oh. They're just going to use Johnny Depp. Oh, oh. fuck you. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, well, no, well, actually, no, they, they, they would have they, they used uh, Michael Fassbender, but they want something, <laughs> somebody with a little acting talent. <laughs> Oh, Meat space fight is about to go you're, down. You're closer to me this episode. I can reach across this he, space. He doesn't need to just, You could kill me a hundred times, so I make Michael Fassbender good at acting. Fuck you, he is a good actor. He's had a bad run recently. Our son is just in the back there crying. Stop crying, stop crying. He's had a bad run recently, but he is a good actor. Can yeah. they just cast Michael B. Jordan in whiteface? Because I'd pay to see that. I think that's culturally insensitive. Mm. Is it? Is mm. whiteface insensitive now? I hear so. Actually, they can just cast Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. As Batman. Can you imagine? Can you physically People imagine? Would be like, in like, like, you know, when they did the torches, they'll do the torches again. Oh, like the Olympics. Yes. Mm. Imagine but with if more torches, racism. but more. <laughs> What, like, mm-hmm. tiki torches? Yes. Yes. <laughs> tiki Everyone torches. Everyone knows that the symbol of that entire movement is those cheap little bamboo is those tiki fucking torches. hurricane lamps I that you can buy from Bulls. Just, 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 just objectively, that, like, I think it would be pretty cool. No, objectively, yeah. It would be actually fucking like, cool. Yeah. 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 Like, objectively, you, you I just want, want to see Michael Jordan in everything. What if fire, but too much. Yeah, dude, Batman fucking scoring a three-pointer, am I right? Yeah. I, well, no, but it, seeing as we've done it on three separate episodes now, I have to add making fun of Rachel to Cinebeard's bingo. <laughs> <laughs> she does uh, it to herself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they, uh, that's the thing. Like, there's nothing canonically that prevents Batman from being a person of color. No. Except, canon. Except, for, except for canon. Except for the canon. Yeah. Except for like 75 years of canon. 80? 80. 80 years of canon. Yeah, but if other think... than that. Free game. Uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, also, like, the origin of his wealth. This yes. is this is not, this is not like, um, what's it, uh, fucking Harry Potter, where, which is like, <laughs> well, there's nothing I... that says Hermione's white. Like, I never explicitly said Hermione's white. I, Just like I, she I never love... explicitly said Dumbledore is gay. I love her fucking revisions. Yeah. Her script revisions on her books are some of the most magical fucking left turns in, yeah. in I publicity like that history where she said she stands by Johnny Depp I like that one too yeah that's that's really that's totally in keeping with her message mm. yeah. yeah yeah about standing up for yourself and what's right and bullying and yeah you know, exactly mm. spouse don't, don't bully but it's all right if you but throw it, wine glasses and shit at your wife if, if we're already kind of too if we're already kind of too far along with the production and the contract if I had tricky. to admit that I was wrong mm. Yeah, no. No, yeah, I and, might lose money. And don't remind me on Twitter, otherwise I'll just block you. I'll just fucking block you, straight up. But she mm. writes wholesome children's books. Mm. Oh, yes. Totally. Changed my life. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I remember so reading the first... So we reading the I remember reading the first oh, one. Right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I, 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 say, I remember reading the first one in primary school. There's one of my most vivid memories from my childhood. Yeah. When the first one came out, and you know, they had the librarian was reading it to us. And I remember... Like sitting there with all my friends, and I was like, "Oh, it's the new Harry Potter book!" And everyone, like, there was a waiting list to book it out. And she was reading to us from it, and then like, there's like a fairy or something—I'm not sure what it is—that mm. like goes and it 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 t- puts off the street lights with a thing called the put outer. And I was just so like, it's like the unobtainium. I was just sitting there. And I was like, <laughs> "That is some dumb shit." <laughs> 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 and I'm just there, and, and that is just stuck like, with even me for the, life. Even the two are very same... lucky that Martina doesn't listen to the podcast. She does. <laughs> even the, she knows. She knows my feelings. Even on... the turn of the century, okay. like Victorian gas lighters, had cooler names yeah. for the thing to it, put. It's out. the put out. I was like, nah. It's done. I've I'm checked gonna fuck, out. I'm going to keep reading Stephen King. I, <laughs> I only read the third book because I'm pretty sure in my library at my school, like Harry Potter was branded as like Satanistic literature. 
Oh yeah, that sounds sort of like we never had it, and then I got right. given like the third book as a birthday gift. Why did you go with Satan lit- Satanistic literature when there are literally witches in the book? <laughs> <laughs> well, in my town, Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon Tazos were considered satanic, and your children should not have them at any well, one no, time. Well, no, those are satanic. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. the devil oh, no, will totally come are. for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, that explains a lot. Yeah. Like mm, they'll yeah. come. Yeah, I'm we old. Did. Really <laughs> old. <laughs> Fine, then I'm just gonna let you guys know that the Venom director already has sequels in mind. Why don't you? Just... Of course he does. No, nah, you can off. look for that. Oh well, you know, you know what else? You know what I have in mind? What? Uh, I have in mind eating an entire like deep fried pig, but I can't do it because I don't have one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't have the facilities, I'm and no one's you. gonna give me those facilities. I mean, Which this ties isn't, in this very isn't the Michael with B. The Jordan of <laughs> analogies. No but one's it's... gonna give him the money or the facilities to do that. Oh, especially now that um, all the shareholders have voted yes, yes. Yeah. Thumbs up! Fox uh, Thumbs up! It's uh, one more stumbling block uh, out of the way. And okay, this but, is my totally one hundred percent original thought that Jason didn't come up with that. And at the end of the Infinity War, right at the end of the fourth one, there's going to be like a tease for Fantastic Four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, ah. Uh, I remember yeah. you sharing that original thought that yeah. you had. Like, yeah, you remember last that. week. Yeah, I remember it, it clearly. Totally, it's totally news original. to me. <laughs> but but how would? <laughs> 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 But I mean, uh, co- come on, thing come to add to add really sequels to Venom already? I mean, yeah, they, they're, they're already f- scraping the bottom of well, the barrel villain-wise for the first one. They want to go the whole all the symbiote. Symbiote. Uh, symbiote. Do you know what's real? No, Nobody even knows who the fuck Riot is. I do because I played the fucking Super Nintendo game where you fight against all five. Yeah, but you're like the one person in the universe. Yeah, you're the one percent, Thomas. Yeah, you yeah, are yeah. the one percent. <laughs> Cracks open San P. San P. <laughs> nice. Drinks it. But yeah, yeah like, like, nobody <laughs> But you know what's really fucked up is that. In what? fairness, in fairness, sorry, just. In fairness, yeah. counterpoint, just totally devil's advocate. I right, think right. these are all going to be dumpster fires. But no one may care about Riot and many of the other villains. But nobody cared about the Guardians of the Galaxy. That is true. That is true. And so you never know. So you never know what. Okay, but Venom has James Gunn has nothing to do with Venom. So. Oh no, it's no. fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's really fucked up is the current run of Venom. He might still. What? What a twist that what would a, be. What a twist. The current run Life of Venom by in, <laughs> in, the, in the comics is really fucking cool. Like, they've reconsolidated the whole symbiote universe. There's a god of the symbiotes. And it's written by the same guy that's currently writing um, Hell... What's his name? Fucking... What did Nick Cage do? Hellballs. No, man. Hell Hellboy. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. yeah. Ghost Rider. Uh, Ghost Rider as the Herald of Galactus. <laughs> it's written by this, the current run of Venom is written by the <laughs> same okay. author. And it looks really fucking cool. Mm. So it's like, there's cool Venom is stuff. Is Ghost Rider Ghost Rider again, or just a dude in a car? No, it's, it, no. now he's a dude on like an intergalactic, like Lobo-esque motorbike. motorbike yeah. And he's the Herald oh, of Galactus. It's really cool. That's really original Marvel yeah. taking stuff from DC. I know, right? This never happened before. What are you talking original. about? Dude, that's DC happened doesn't plenty have ghost... of times. No, what DC's got Lobo, you fuck face. Yeah, I know they've got Lobo, but Lobo turned into a little emo bitch, remember? Yeah, but they turned him back. They yeah. turned him back. They, they turned him back. back. They rolled back on that was, so hard. In the Injustice comics was made a Green Lantern and killed a dude with a giant green penis. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> okay, that Seriously, is he gets awesome. a Green Lantern ring. Oh, did you see the new um, comic that's coming? So I, I know it's probably two, two or three weeks old news already, yeah. but where it's Injustice Universe... Mm-hmm. Uh, versus Masters of the Universe. No. And it's He-Man yes, taking yeah, down Superman's that. regime. That is cool. Yes. Yes. That sounds cool. I Why don't they just that. adapt that? They just do yeah, that! Right? No. Come on! Do that thing! Go on! I'd watch it. Yeah. I don't mean Warner Brothers would have to make a good decision with the DCEU. Oh, no. And then stick no, 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 to their no, guns no, no, no. on that decision. No, no, not DCEU. The worlds of oh, DC. Sorry. The worlds, worlds of, of DC. Oh, and then they, they would have to name stick to their guns yes, on that. Their yeah. Well, they don't have to because they're all in different universes. Is that why we can have 17 Joker movies? Yes. Yeah. And fuck Batman. Fuck you. Why do you have to bring that up, Joe? Why would you, why would you do that? that, how, that because I want to is... watch the world burn. Okay. Could no, we get that? Enough. Wait, if they're, doing, if they're going so full hog, can we just... <laughs> get an adaptation of the batman who laughs because that goes pretty dark well yeah i kind of enjoy that yeah but it doesn't go gritty 
Dude, it it is. Yeah. Every Greenlit. okay, everything <laughs> everything that Warner Brothers like cinematic universe of the DC EU or world of DC pretends to be dark, the Batman who laughs is like a concentrated shot of that. It is the most edge lordest, darkest <sighs> like most hardcoreest version of Batman there's ever been. Yeah. And like I like it from like a you know a kid that's still like spawn. Even more than Clooney Batman. Dude, way more. Yeah. yeah. Like you think Clooney Batman was dark there, and gritty. There's like there four always, pa- there's four pages in the comic of just panels where Batman is sitting at home listening to Depeche Mode and Bauhaus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like I really relate to that. But uh <laughs> the, the, the the really awful thing is I like I know you you're probably joking. <laughs> But you're not but sure. Would, but I wouldn't put you're money not, on it. You're not sure. You're not sure. That's all right. I remember that on the alternate cover for that issue, they had a like a, an homage to like a Kraftwerk album cover. You remember that? <laughs> and then Batman cosplays as the crow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for Halloween. Oh, and, and it's great because he gets all the Robins together, right? And they all cosplay as members of Devo. God damn it. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Comic books are stupid. <laughs> All right. Everything is stupid. What else is news? Everything is stupid. Everything is What dumb. else is news? When it's not Disney. News. Um, well, if we're going on to the whole Disney thing, they've released a lot of the casting for episode nine. Very convenient timing, changing yes. the conversation from yes. James Gunn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they definitely made the right decision with how they're handling Leia. I agree. I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And uh, Mark Hamill's been cast in it again, which mammal. is mammal, just mammal. Mammal's been cast mammal. in again, which is obviously gonna piss off uh, everyone. The Snyder Cut people. I'm assuming they're just the same people, the Snyder Cut people. Oh yeah, yeah. I think they are. Oh, yeah, he'll yeah he'll be a. Spooky, of course, he was gonna show ghost. up as a Force ghost. I mean, yeah, that was kind of a given. Yeah, yeah. it's a given. It's spooky. it's a fucking Star Wars movie. So it's gonna be the only one that they're missing then is Harrison Guinness. Ford. And I, I swear they're gonna, they're gonna shoehorn him in somehow. You think? You think we're yeah. gonna get a flashback? The, the thing is, uh, if they, we get a flashback, that it'll be no, no, uh, no. Either a flashback or something, some uh, new, okay, some new okay, thing. You know? Okay. It's just, it just they're feels gonna shenaniganize like, him in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, the, it's the last one of the Skywalker trilogy. Yeah. So they're gonna in try. Fantasy, and, not they a want Skywalker, the band back together. But, but I still feel he like married into the family. Yeah, yeah. I still feel like they might find. And this is Mecha Solo, <gasps> which I would go in for. I would go in for that. Yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I, he's like Han Solo, but the top half of his body is a robot. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh my god, Han, you're a robot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but even though his legs are regular human legs, he still makes the... <laughs> every time he walks. But Jason, you're, you're forgetting something very important. They can't do a flashback with him. Because, I mean, then they'd have to de-age him and he'll just look at you like a young Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> that would be perfect. <laughs> Tick. <laughs> <laughs> now all we need to, to get a complete bingo is for Dion to put his intestines at risk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't have any copy. You got to take it off. It'll come, just you wait. <laughs> I, I was so confused. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> like the cost, uh, the, the cost, like the full announced cost is not surprising in the least. No. no. There's a be... couple of new people play new characters and stuff yeah. but nothing but there's nothing, nothing surprising, surprising about nothing that i went mm. 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 and on the topic of disney let's not forget the whole james gunn thing yeah mm-hmm. hashtag yeah. rehire yeah. james gunn yeah. not letting go of that disney nope. fucking I think hashtag we, rehire. we have not forgotten we the, will not uh, forget online petition is at something like 350 yeah it's around there it's the, and like i said that's in the, the, that's in the, the car biggest ride, one in the car yeah. ride over yeah. here is the first and only time i've ever signed an online petition yeah Ever. Yep. Sign that thing so yep, damn yep, yep. fast. Mm. Link in the description. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, make the effort. No, no, no. You last time I linked the sideshow collectible. You, you yeah. did. I linked it. You did, and I looked at it again, and I was like, <sighs> I need that sideshow money. <laughs> <laughs> we We're busy money. alienating Disney. We need that sideshow <laughs> yeah. money. Come on. We're not complete idiots. <laughs> True. Uh, I've got news. Yeah. Um, did you see that Warner Brothers, speaking of Warner Brothers, I think it is a Warner Brothers film, lost faith in old Mowgli. 
Oh yes, oh, yeah, they sold it to Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Sent it straight to yeah. Netflix. Oh, we fucking oh, called business that. Business decision yeah. ever. That Send is, it to Netflix. That is such a shit show of that, a movie. Just ooh. judging from that trailer. Yep. And, and they went so hard into it. The they trailer's did. like the darkest, grittiest retelling of this yeah. children's story. The darkest retelling of something. Oh, and I still see people defending it like, oh, but then it's closer to the source. But I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I watched Andy the circus is doing the mocap, and it's like it looks like a cutscene from a video game. Yeah, from yeah. 2005. Hashtag give us the Mowgli cut. No. No. Oh. Hashtag release the Mowgli cut. <laughs> release the Mowgli cut. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't need to be any darker or grittier. I recently, for the first time, watched the Disney live action oh, Jungle it's Book. Great. It's damn great and. Like Shere Khan is fucking terrifying. Shere Khan is terrifying, Shere Khan is a and scary fucking villain. so is King Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like King Louis, like Christopher. I never thought I would be afraid of Christopher Walken. Yeah, like seriously. Yeah, I mean, it's by no means perfect, but I no, was not really a perfect movie, impressed. But... And the yeah, I mean, just the animals looked sin. Yeah, I, I had to go back and watch it again because I think I half watched it when it came mm. out. And then I, with this new trailer for the shit show coming out, I had to go back and get a yeah. comparison point. And I was like, yeah. fucking hell. Yeah, that's with, with that tech, the Lion King is going to look fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, the live Premier. action Lion King. Don't say that. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. Mm -hmm. It's not live Lion action. It's not live action. action. <laughs> hey, I We, we did this, this like 20 episodes ago. <laughs> it's not live I'm action. I'm sorry, I was dealing with communism. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, okay, all right, that's fair. That's, that's, fair. Fair. that's, fair. that's, that's fair. fair. That's fair. No one should. No one should have to. You deal. take down the red menace. Take it yeah. down. It yeah. is a blight. You hunt for that red October sun. <laughs> and then in uh, some good some good news, at least it's good news to me, uh Villeneuve's Dune is yes. only gonna be adapting the first half of the book. Yeah. For now. For now. Sequel plan. Sequel is planned. Sequel yeah. super plan, but that's so fine because that book's like a thousand fucking movie. pages. Yeah, and really like when was the last time anyone tried to read High Frank school. Herbert's Dune? High school. It is yeah. a thick, meaty text. Yeah. It's I've, like, I've got like broken down into different volumes at home with how big it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically like as in depth as Lord of the Rings, man. It is a hell of a book. I just mm. hope that they start the, the sort of spicy shared cinematic universe so they can do like an adaptation of Tiberian Sun and then do a crossover. I know. <laughs> Thomas, you need to make noises. Right. This is a podcast. You also you. want a Westwood Studios shared universe? <laughs> Who doesn't want a Westwood Studios here? I can answer I that. I love you, Thomas. Dude, well, well, okay. On a serious note, if you just watch all of the FMVs together, you have. A pretty good movie yeah. to be like terribly honest like the characters are kind of hammy but they're kind of silly and the story's quite good and compelling yeah. with some nice characters and, and some yeah, good curry. twists and yeah tim curry's in tim there yeah i mean tim curry as the fucking russian leader in the third red alert was the most inspired casting in a video game ever it was great and george takei as the japanese emperor yeah. <laughs> oh yes dude remember that i mean that was just like some great casting some really was just casting. fantastic I wasn't J.K. Simmons the American president. I want to believe that. I, I can't confirm nor deny that, but I want to believe. I, I'm pretty that. sure he was in one of them. All right, Princess Spider-Man. You like that? I did like Thank that. You. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I think the last thing that we have to talk about really, because it's it was a fairly slow news week after Comic Con. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, the Predator has gone back for two days of reshoot, so it's probably Harvey just... Weinstein. No, they haven't let him out of jail yet. I just wanted to say, no, Shane Black's movie. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's gone back for two days of reshoots, but they're still keeping their uh, release date in like two months. Yeah, well, it's just Kevin two Spacey days of reshoots, funnier. and mm -hmm. I'm going to assume... It's like a second unit for some more fill-in shots. Yeah, no, it's Lady it's Predators confirmed. That. Once they put in the yeah, once they put together like the sort of the initial assembly cut, like there's always going to be something that doesn't flow right. Yeah. Or... yeah, apparently they they moved some like well removed some hybrid beasts from the finale. I'm hmm. happy with that. That's cool. I'm, I'm fine with that because like simpler uh, is better. Simpler mm -hmm. is better. Like just mm -hmm. just give me 
one guy versus one predator again, and I will be I would have been happy. happy. Well, if they're doing the whole like the predators the are augmenting themselves with um, like the, the toughest of like each planet they visit. I just want an Arnie predator. Yeah, I want a mm. predator to take off his mask, and it's just Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> but they'll have to use the agent. Like you did in that one with Christian Bale. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Good times. Hey, fun fact, I just I read a thing, I think this was also in last week or something. Like everyone's going on about how good Disney has gotten at de aging, mm. you yeah, know, yeah. and everything. But that's not even their highest achievement. There were scenes in Iron Man 3 With where, entirety. Oh, where Robert Downey Jr. Yes. was entirely CG yeah. and no one fucking noticed. Yep. Uh, uh, like, just for instance, the... Uh, balls. There's one uh, where he's on the what, couch with the suit, I believe, is the, full CG. Good job. The, the, the post credit scene of Infinity War, which I won't yeah. say anything about. Mm -hmm. um, like, the last, like, 30 seconds or 40 seconds of that everything on screen is cg whoa, whoa. everything Jesus. That everything is, that is impressive as fuck well that's that's one way to keep it from leaking <laughs> i like, guess don't yeah. film it just, just don't film just, it just, <laughs> unsent photos of just this green paper <laughs> 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 what could it mean <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's gonna do it for this week is it yeah yeah we're we done uh, yeah i think that's it uh oh. just one more thing Disney, we haven't forgotten. We have yeah. not. You guys are dicks. You guys, mm. you guys can eat a. Yeah, I guess like size. a small family size bag of dicks. Yeah, family mm. family mm. pack is fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. But so, not nice dicks. No. Yeah. Unenjoyable dicks. Nasty, smelly ones with smegma. Yeah. Mm. So recommendations. Mine is obviously Mission Impossible Fallout. I saw it on Friday with my buddy Dylan. I think so. And your wife, Martina. And my wife, Martina. Yeah, I and I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Oh, really? Like, I'm, I'm you could really feel the, the like, impact of the hit and the, uh, and the stunts just felt so real because I'm, of I'm looking forward oh, to really. seeing it and late like an idiot. Yeah, and confirmed by the director on Twitter, Henry Cavill improv reloading his arms. Yeah. And I love that the person called it that and yeah. the, everyone knows exactly what he's talking yeah. about. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nice so yeah my recommendation is infinity war which is coming out digitally and on 4k all the fancy stuff and That's next great. in two weeks on blu-ray I'm, yeah. I'm i'm so excited to see that in 4k i'm so glad i don't have to wait to go back home to communist country and like yes, wait to watch that well, I, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys can actually come over that to my place so and watch it on my 4k screen Ooh. we'll just need to download it on jason's five <laughs> <laughs> we should do that because i mean if you have to go back to communist russia i mean that's like what watching it at 240p we watch everything on our cell phones, uh, man. Uh, 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 I'm getting a heart aneurysm. <laughs> In fairness, my phone can do 2K. Do 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 You three, peanut gallery. What are your suggestions? <laughs> you. uh, I rewatched Apocalypto this week, and I forgot how good it was. So you should watch that. I'm hesitant to recommend anything Mel Gibson. I am, but it was before I knew who Mel Gibson was. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so Apocalyptic, Apocalypto has like zero Jesus in it. So. There's no Jesus. Mm. Hey, not even a single Jesus. Not, not one even a single Mary Jesus. Just remember, Jesus. just remember who's in Baby Driver. Fair enough. There's nary a Jesus, and it does no double standards, Disney. And I'm not Disney, I'm a human, a <laughs> human being. Compared to his other films, Sorry, I, I rate it high. I'd say it's my favorite one of his. More than Passion of the Christ. Yeah. I'm, I'm not into gore porn. Well, I am, but that's like religious gore porn, which is oh, lame. Yeah. yeah, it's lame when they're, it's like motivated by an unseen force instead yeah, of just, just a guy just wanting people. to gore porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know you have to keep the laughter, but not have the <laughs> Thanks, sugar tits. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Oh. Okay. Um, so yeah, <laughs> your recommendation. Was. Oh, mm. I am going to recommend 
something that I haven't had a chance to see yet, but it just got released on Netflix, Extinction. It's another disaster movie, but Michael Peña is in it, and he plays a serious role. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It looked, the trailer looked very interesting. It released on Netflix this Friday, and yeah, I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but it looks interesting, so maybe give it a shot. Took the Scientologists long enough to get him a role? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. He's only reached clear now. Mm -hmm. You only get the roles once you reach clear. Oh, yep. okay. Mm. Well, I would have to recommend, obviously, Deadpool 2, because I just watched it today. <laughs> what Deadpool about... 2, you'll remember, is the 1987 classic starring <laughs> Ryan Reynolds' father. <laughs> Jack Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds. Mr. Mr. Reynolds. Reynolds. My father. <laughs> First name, Mr. Last name, Reynolds. Okay, so, Jared, anything you want to plug? Your, your art and whatnot? How yeah, do you do art? Mm. Don't you do art, Jared? Don't you do art for this podcast? Yeah, don't you do the title art for this podcast? And that's Jared's plugs. So the rest of us, we can all go at once. <laughs> one, two, three. You, you can, can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. That's fun. Krabby, Sanpi, and Sideshow. Ayo. And Netflix. And Netflix.